any evidence that NASA and the world governments are trying to keep from us and for all intents and purposes completely hide the fact that there is something at our north and south poles. And from all of the evidence and documentation and research that I've seen, what they are hiding looks to be a massive entrance or hole to the inner earth. Now bear with me because I'm going to show you some images and some footage straight from NASA themselves where they are caught red-handed attempting to hide what are over the poles. Now many of you may have heard about the hollow earth theory, which is that basically there is a large hole either at the top of our north pole or both poles. But mainly what's been talked about is a, is a giant opening at the north pole that is said to lead into the inner earth where there is land there is an inner sun supposedly and that explorers have actually flown over this and seen this firsthand so we're going to show you some of the evidence today and we're going to talk about it so watch the entire video because i've got some amazing footage to show you guys and believe me when i tell you that often and as in this case the truth is much stranger than fiction so the first thing I want to show you right off the bat is the footage I was speaking about earlier showing during one of the ISS flyovers of Antarctica, NASA is caught red-handed, obstructing the camera as they pass over Antarctica. And we'll play you that footage right now. Now, if that doesn't spark your curiosity, then continue watching because we're going to talk about a lot of things and we're going to show you a lot of images showing this massive hole at the top of the earth. So for many years, people have believed in this hollow earth theory, although some have said it's just a myth. And there's even been people out there, scientists who have tried to prove it. And by the way, I will put some links down in the video description to some very interesting articles and websites that will allow you to go more in depth into this topic and will completely blow your mind. And as I said, this has been a long-standing myth with no proof for years up until 1968 when pictures were taken by a satellite orbiting Earth that clearly showed a massive hole located at Earth's North Pole. That image you're seeing here which was actually published in a book that you can't even find today. And you're seeing the original scans from that book showing this massive hole at the top of the earth. It's one of the only photos that we have showing this massive hole at the top of our planet. And I mean, look at this thing. We have this odd indentation at the top of Antarctica, right in the center with uh, this, what looks like some swirling cloud cover. And it's one of the most devastating images supporting the hollow earth theory. Or not even that. It doesn't even have to be a hollow earth. It's simply that there is an entrance at the top of our planet that NASA is trying to hide. An entrance to what? I don't know. So then in the 1970s, the ESSA, a project belonging to the Department of Commerce, gave the media access to images of the North Pole taken by the ESSA-7 satellite in November of 1968. And as you'll note, every single satellite image, public image that we have of the North Pole shows in some form or another a massive hole or a blacked out hole put there to hide whatever's underneath. And we also have Google Earth maps uh, showing obvious photoshopping and blurring where you will have high resolution images uh, of the rest of the continent but when it comes to the direct center of Antarctica you have nothing but blurred white nothingness. Now if you remember we've spoken about Admiral Richard Byrd in the past when we we're speaking about how he took a Navy fleet down to Antarctica and was attacked by these flying saucers 
that burst out of the ocean and literally wiped out half of his fleet. So when you leave this video, Google Admiral Richard E. Byrd to hear more about that. However, Admiral Byrd also, who was by the way a very distinguished, well-known, well-respected pioneer, aviator, and polar explorer, flew over the North Pole in May of 1926 and led numerous expeditions to Antarctica, including a flight over the South Pole on November 29, 1929. So basically, through one of Mr. Byrd's diaries, it was found that he had written about a gaping hole over the North Pole and that he had actually entered inner Earth. In his diary, and along with other witnesses, he tells of entering this hollow interior of the Earth, traveling 1,700 miles over mountains, lakes, vegetation, animal life, and that he saw quote, monstrous animals resembling the mammoth of antiquity moving through the underbrush, and that he eventually found cities with a thriving civilization. Now, Admiral Byrd also stated that the inner Earth has an inner sun, and that his theory was that the poles of Earth are convex rather than concave, and that ships and planes can actually fly or drive right in. But an interesting thing to note, as you're seeing in these images here, is that the United States government does not allow planes to fly over the poles. In all of these flight radar maps that you're seeing here, you will notice this massive circular hole that no plane has ever been allowed to cross over. All flights are directed to go around the poles. And any airline pilot flying into these areas will tell you this. And it's also been stated that, that something that's very interesting and odd is the fact that the icebergs coming from and drifting from the poles are actually composed of fresh water and not the usual salt water that you would see in the oceans around the world. Now, here is another ISS image that has since been taken offline. It's very hard to find. It's from a 1996 space shuttle mission showing this massive indentation at the top of the Earth as you're seeing here. And it's not just the Earth that is said to have these holes, but every planet in the solar system from Mars to Saturn. Here's an interesting image of the North Pole of Saturn, which shows this massive, swirling, hexagon-shaped vortex surrounding a massive hole that's near the size of the Earth at the top of Saturn. And we've spoken before about planets and moons uh, around the solar system that show characteristics uh, of being hollow. We've talked about the moon being hollow. We've talked about how the Apollo astronauts said that when they crashed spacecrafts and other objects into the moon, that they would hear the moon, quote, ringing for hours like a bell, and that they would feel these vibrations and reverberations after the object had hit for hours afterwards, and that they would feel these vibrations from thousands of miles away from the original impact, as if the moon had some sort of a hollow uh, inner core that was surrounded by some sort of metallic hull. And we've also talked about Mars and its moon Phobos, which is also believed to be hollow due to its size and, and odd orbital pattern around Mars. And then we have the Aurora Borealis, which I'm sure you've all heard of, which is said to be uh, lights, which you have your northern lights, and then you have your aurora australis, which are your southern lights, which are said to be the result of, quote, electrons colliding with the upper reaches of Earth's atmosphere. However, many have stated that these lights and this aurora is actually coming from these massive openings at our poles and directly come from the inner Earth that's inside Earth, or some massive light source that's inside the Earth. And we even have footage showing this aurora spiraling around this opening at the North Pole, as you're seeing in this video here. Now, as you're watching this, you'll notice that this light seems to be directly coming from this opening on... You can even see the opening in this satellite footage. And you can see this light swirling around this opening and coming out and going over top the Earth. I mean, the evidence is right here. Now here's some time-lapse satellite footage once again showing this massive hole which you will see in the form of a white circle which never seems to change its size or position. So there is just so much evidence leaning toward uh, the possibility that the Earth 
is indeed hollow. The famous mathematical genius of the 18th century, Leonard Euler, concluded that the Earth was hollow, containing a central sun. And Dr. Edmund Halley, who discovered the Halley Comet and was a royal astronomer of England, also believed that the Earth was hollow on the inside. We've talked about the Nazi connection and that, and that there was a map from the Third Reich, which showed several secret passages depicted, which were used by German U-boats to access these mysterious underground regions. And then there was the case of Carl Unger, who was a crew member aboard a German U-boat, who wrote letters stating that the crew had reached the interior of the Earth and that they did not consider coming back. So again, there, there's a lot of information, and and just recently, there were found what looked to be a giant pyramid found in Antarctica, which you're seeing in these images here, and you can actually find this on Google Earth, which we will put the link to also down in the video description. And as you're seeing, we have this massive, almost perfectly shaped, sharp-edged pyramid, which looks very similar to the pyramids in Giza. And if it is natural, then, well, we'll just let you be the judge. So, as I said earlier, the truth is stranger than fiction in terms of many topics we have discussed on this channel. And now we have this new footage from the ISS showing the astronaut shut the door before the feed is completely cut and goes to the, the NASA image still at the end. And it's all very strange. Yeah.